Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to ITO Chapter Viewers. In this video, I just want to show you a cool website, and it also has an app, uh, called AppShopper.com. So if you haven't heard of this, what it does is it can help you save a lot of money by uh, showing you price drops of different apps and updates and such. So most of you have probably heard of it, but if you haven't, I definitely recommend it. Uh, so let's just scroll down here. Uh, first of all, you can see there's iOS and Mac. So you can, if you have a Mac, you can click this and it will show you Mac apps and their price drops and updates and newness. Uh, so you could go all iPhone, iPad, or Universal to narrow your searches if you're looking for something in particular. Uh, different categories here. You can do all or popular. I just do popular because it kind of weeds out some of the junk that gets put in here. Sometimes it's I think all of this is automated somehow through the App Store, so it's not like people posting this. This is actually recent changes and stuff. Uh, so there's all paid or free. If you just want free stuff, see price drops for free things, you can click that. And then you could choose all updates, new, or price drops uh, right here if you just want to see price drops or new apps or updates. So I'm going to scroll down here. You can see there's a featured post. I usually don't read those, and I'm probably not going to get clear because I don't like that app. I, I just don't like the whole premise of it but anyways from what I've heard of it so these are the popular recent changes for iOS so these are different apps for iOS that have price drop as you can see price drop here is $2.99 now it's $1.99 if I click the buy now button it will open up I think a new little tab and then hop right over into iTunes and then I can purchase it there I can click own it and it will add it to the my apps section which will give you push notifications when stuff's updated and such so you don't have to keep checking the app store It'll just push notify you if you have the app on your device it's free uh, the want it button just puts it on the wish list so it will give you push notifications if it drops in price or if it gets I don't know if it does updates or not I forget but definitely for price drops you know you want to get it while it's cheap so you don't have to keep searching up different apps and stuff so it's really nice it's really convenient it's color coded so this is price drop, this is an update, this is new, and there are actually some pretty good price drops. So yeah, I'm going to scroll back up and I'm going to hit Mac because that's kind of cool. One of the neat things about this is that you can see, uh, if you click on one of them, the application's history of what it's done. So if I click on Luxor HD, I can see that it was a new app on August 24th, 2011 and it was five dollars and got updated three times and they price dropped it, price increased, price dropped it and they price dropped it kind of a lot that time so you can do that to see and make sure that you know if you're gonna get an app you wanna make sure it's not gonna go free the next day so you can kinda of monitor how it's done in the past and see if there's a pattern or something so you don't get ripped off kind of so that's nice so I could see work at night went free so it was two dollars so I could get it right now if I wanted but uh, yeah, it's just really nice, and it's got total apps, uh, total apps approved, total iPhone apps, total iPad apps, total, Mac, total available Mac apps, and just little things that really make looking for apps a lot more fun and enjoyable and such. So up here, where it's, what's new, my apps, wish list, top 200, and blog. And of course, you can search for an app, so uh, what do I want to search? An old app that I used to play. Bike or die two. There it is. So I could click on it. Oh, this game was awesome back in the day. Yeah. So I could see that it was new for two ninety nine. Uh, I think I bought it when it was six ninety nine at some point in here. And uh, yeah, so I could see all that drops in price. It hasn't done anything since oh nine, so they're probably not working on it anymore. It's a pretty good game. I kinda actually recommend it. I beat it. There's a bunch of levels, so it's really fun. So there's that. kind of got off topic there. So let's go back to what's new. So that's basically it for this website. Uh, it's really nice. AppShopper.com. There's also an app. And I highly recommend it because it helps you save a lot of money. So check it out. I think that's all for this video. Uh, thumbs up. Subscribe if you want. Share my videos around. Check out some of my other videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Peace.